When starting internal combustion engines such as petrol engines and diesel engines, it is necessary to cut off loads on the engines. Also, if power from engine is suddenly transmitted to the wheels, the engine may not be able to take up the load and may come to stop. On the other hand, if engine develops sufficient power, the vehicle will start moving suddenly which may be uncomfortable or even injurious to the occupants of automobile. Therefore, it is necessary to gradually connect power from engine to the wheels. Other than this, there are many situations in which we would like to disconnect power from engine to the wheels. For example, when applying brakes or when vehicle is on downhill. Apart from this, for changing gears, it is necessary to disconnect transmission system from the engine. Clutch is an intermediate mechanism which connects and disconnects the power from the engine to the transmission system. In this video, we will see that how this disengagement and engagement of engine with the transmission system is done with the help of clutch. As we know, the power is developed in the engine of an automobile and causes crankshaft to rotate. The power from the crankshaft is transmitted to the gearbox through the clutch. Finally, it reaches to the road wheel following the propeller shaft and differential. Thus, clutch is in between engine and the gearbox and whenever the clutch pedal is pressed, Clutch disengages the engine from the gearbox and power does not flow to the gearbox. And thus gears can be changed easily because gears are rotating freely and no force is being transmitted through them. A clutch consists of a flywheel which is directly mounted on the crankshaft and thus flywheel will rotate all the time engine is running. Then there is clutch plate made up of steel and faced on both the sides with friction material. The clutch plate is mounted on the spline shaft and can move along the axis of the shaft. The spline shaft is input shaft of the gearbox and thus transmits power to the gearbox unless clutch is disengaged. Suppose engine is running and therefore flywheel is rotating. Now if the clutch plate is brought in contact with the flywheel surface by applying some axial force, a frictional force starts acting between them and the clutch plate starts to rotate. As the axial force is increased gradually, the force of friction increases and the clutch plate starts to rotate at the same speed as of flywheel. Thus, when flywheel and the clutch plate are moving at the same speed and there is no slip between them, the clutch is said to be fully engaged. The actual force for engagement of clutch is provided by pressure plate. The pressure plate is supported by clutch cover in flexible manner with the help of strap plates. The backside of pressure plate is connected to the outer edge of a spring called diaphragm spring with the help of retractor clip. The diaphragm spring is a disc shaped spring having a hole at the center and disc is radially slotted. The motion of diaphragm spring is fixed about two wire rings which are positioned at short distance from its outer edge one on each side of the spring. These wire rings act as fulcrum for the diaphragm spring and therefore when axial force is applied at the center of a spring, its outer edge moves in opposite direction. And when force is removed, the spring goes back to its initial position.
These two rings are held in position by rivets and these rivets in turn are supported by clutch cover. As the pressure plate is connected to the outer edge of the diaphragm spring, it follows the motion of the outer edge of the spring. This assembly of pressure plate, diaphragm spring and clutch cover is called pressure plate assembly and is bolted to the flywheel. Thus, the flywheel and pressure plate assembly act as one unit and hence rotate at same speed. In free condition, the diaphragm spring is of conical form. During fastening of the cover to the flywheel, the diaphragm spring is slightly flattened. and spring force starts acting on the pressure plate and due to this spring force pressure plate presses the clutch plate against the flywheel and thus clutch plate rotate due to frictional force acting on its both the surface when the clutch pedal is pressed a clutch actuating bearing pushes the diaphragm spring towards the flywheel at the center this causes the outer edge of diaphragm spring and thus the pressure plate to move away from the flywheel thus pressure from clutch plate is removed and it is separated from the flywheel and no power is being transmitted to the clutch plate and thus engine is now separated from the transmission when clutch pedal is released clutch plate is re-engaged with the flywheel and power starts transmitting again to reduce the effect of engine fluctuation abrupt clutch engagement and other shocks torsional springs are provided in the clutch plate the input shaft to the gearbox is connected to the spline hub. On the other hand, retainer plates are riveted to the clutch plate firmly. The hub is held between these retainer plates and is free to rotate to some extent. Slots are provided to retain the torsional springs in between. Thus, when clutch is engaged, the rotation of clutch plate causes compression of this torsional spring against the hub. Then these spring forces the hub to rotate and thus power is transmitted in smooth way to the gearbox.